you're a golfer that struggles to strike your irons correctly, well, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly the things that I see when I'm coaching on the range that lead to poor iron striking and the things that you need to do in order to improve. Feel free to hit a subscribe if you enjoy the video. Enjoy. So the first thing I see with players who tend to be quite inconsistent with their iron striking is their setup. Most of the time I'll see the legs too bent, the back too upright, which is going to stabilize the hips, which means we can't turn correctly to be able to deliver that club consistently to the same place. Ideally, we would want your setup to look like this. Now here you can see I've got my arms hanging freely down. My back is more over the ball, so my chest is pointing towards the ball. My legs aren't as bent, they're just slightly flexed, and my pressure is running through the balls of my feet. A great drill for you to get into this setup position is to stand straight up, straight legs, straight back, arms straight out in front. Now what you want to do is bend from the hip. You see I'm bending from my hip and I'm not throwing my arms down. I'm bending from the hip until my chest points more towards the ball and the arms are hanging freely down. Then I'll take two steps. Because this is a short iron, I want the ball in the middle of my stance. When I take those two steps, that's when I soften the knee slightly and I'll start to feel the pressure running through the balls of feet and not onto the heels. So now that we've got ourselves into this nice setup position, we've got to start thinking about the swing. So what we want to see is that the club works straight back like this until this arm reaches your right leg. Then what we're going to do is hinge and set and start to turn the hip and the chest until our back faces the target. From this angle, you'll see that when I make that takeaway, I'm almost working that club straight back until it reaches my right leg. And then from there, the hinge, I'm almost trying to feel like it's going straight up. And then I'll start to turn both the hip and the chest until I get into this position here. So I've got a quite a wide position. I've created a really good stretch, which is going to enable me to start the downswing with the correct sequence and get the downward strike I'm looking for. A great drill you can do to be able to get this feeling of how the hands and arms should work in the backswing is to grab an alignment stick like this and just have it pointing up the stick like that. Now it's not comfortable on the hands, but that's okay. We're not going to hit any shots with it. It's just to build a feeling. So if you're in the correct posture, this alignment stick should sit on your left hip. Then what we're going to do, let me script this properly. What we're going to do is as we take this back, we need to ensure that the alignment stick stays on the left hip and that's keeping this one piece takeaway club out in front of the hands. Then as I start to hinge, I'm going to feel that this stick works down my left leg. And once it reaches my knee, that's when I'm going to start turning and get that feel for the stretch to the top of the backswing. So from this angle, this is what it should look like. Club works back, stays on the left hip. Then I'm starting to work this alignment stick down my left leg till it hits the knee. Then I'll open up and turn into this nice position here. Okay, we're doing really well. So got ourselves to this nice position at the top of the backswing. Now what we want to create is the correct sequence on the way down to allow us to get into this good impact position. So how do we do it? Well, once you get to the top, we'll want to see a little bit of weight shift into this left foot. Also, then we're going to start to see that the lower body will start to unwind, which will pull the upper body and allow us to deliver the club at this position where we've compressed, we've got the hands forward, and we can then turn through and get that nice crispy iron strike that everybody wants. So I know what you're thinking, Mike, that's all good and well. That doesn't look like a natural move. How am I gonna do it? Well, this is how you're gonna do it. Get your golf trousers on, get the alignment sticks through here, and get this stick on your shoulders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it to that nice stretch at the top of the backswing. Now this is even a good drill for getting that backswing feel, because I've created this angle here, which means I've got a good stretch, okay? So from there, we wanna see that the white stick, so we're gonna first of all pressure into the left foot, then the white stick is going to start unwinding until I can get it as close to square to the ball as possible, and then I'm going to fire. And you'll see what that does is it gets me lower body, twisting the hips, and then all the energy is going to move up through the body, into the body, into the arms, into the club at the last minute, and then we're going to have maximum speed. From this angle, you'll see lower body shifts start to unwind and then snap. And you can see that I create that X there with the two sticks. That's the feel, that's the drill. Do that over and over. You don't even need to be at the range to do that. Stand at home, get the two sticks and just create that feel over and over and over. And you'll be able to take it to your swing very soon. Okay, let's finish this swing off and get you hitting some really crispy iron shots. So we've got our setup, we've got our takeaway, we've got our set, turn. Now we're working that separation which will allow us to get here, 
to impact and from here we're then going to start extending up and getting into this nice tall finished position with balance all right let's put this all together then so first of all we want to build a little routine so the first swing should be a feel swing of what you're working on so take away set it feel that separation through come back visualize the shot line it up get in there and now it's time to zone in on the target really see the shot you want to play. It'll be good. Okay, we'll take that. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope this helps your iron striking. Let me know in the comments how you get on and feel free to hit a wee subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.